You know, sometimes things on YouTube, they look really glamorous, and then you look at them from the outside perspective, what it actually looks like. Cool first person shot putting down your cereal, Mike. But you look like an idiot at the same time doing it. Anyway, guys, what's up? Welcome back to a new video. I am excited about today. Why? Because today I feel like it's going to be Obtain Strength, the name of the gym, 2.0. We're going to do the biggest improvement on the gym that I've ever done in the time of owning it, which has almost been a year, which is freaking crazy, but first we gotta eat some breakfast. And that slow motion was so cool. You had Cheerios falling in slow-mo, you had almond milk falling in slow-mo, you had bananas being sliced in slow-mo, you had orange juice being poured in slow-mo. I did, because it's cool, and I have this camera with the feature, so I might as well use it. Mm. If you guys follow me on Snapchat, you will have known for the last year, my front-facing camera has not worked. I finally went and bought an iPhone 8. Some of you guys are gonna be like, you should have waited for the iPhone X. Well, guess what, guys? It's just a phone at the end of the day, and planned obsolescence is a real thing. So that phone, the iPhone X, in a year or two, will probably be broken and intentionally slowed down. So you buy a new one. And I kinda like the home button. I, that's just me. I just like the home button. The other day I was on my Instagram, I saw an ad, I was like, wow, those are some nice looking shirts. Like I could wear those when I go out. And I followed them just because I was like, hey, it's pretty cool. It's advertising at work. And then they messaged me and said, hey, do you want some shirts? So they sent me two shirts. The company is built, B-Y-L-T. Of course, I'm still with Ape. You can always use Corey to save 10% off anything on their side. But I just thought it was really cool. Like I followed them and I guess they somehow knew me and they sent me two shirts. Where you been, dude? I've been making side moves. Are you still lifting? No. Gosh. I've, I've, I'm at about 162 pounds. Are you really? No. Oh, I was going to say, for that tall, dude, damn. <laughs> Just got to the gym, guys. I have some exciting news. Remember that couch that I bought in the Next Level Series and everyone made fun of me for spending $200 on it? Well, guess how much I sold it for, guys? $180. So I only lost $20. We had the couch for almost a year and now check out the lobby so this looks a lot different right you used to have the couch you used to have the table you used to have the tv now the tv is behind the desk and i'm going to have like lifting videos playing on a loop usually when you walk in or i can like hook my laptop up to it hdmi watch some games it doesn't really matter it's just there it looks professional and the project today is to take these stall mats and put them in the lobby do you remember spending about two weeks doing this buddy yeah yeah so for those of you who may be new to the channel connor and i back in what was it last november we spent two weeks two entire weeks doing this for the entire gym we did it all ourselves it was really rewarding but it just took a really, really long time. You're not paying me to mess it up. Damn. Either. Just kidding. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Oh. Once you've done this once, it's easy, dude. I remember doing this to the whole gym. Ah, beautiful. Beautiful. Damn, look at that, that's a butter cut. That's a custom. That's a butter cut. If you guys ever do this though. Which we pray that you don't. Get some WD-40 or silicone spray and then spray it on the end of your blade and then this thing will slide through the mat a lot easier. I learned that on like the last day of doing the whole gym floor. Would have been a lot of help. Right 
Boom, check it out, we are done. This looks a lot better than I thought. We got the matting right here, the cardio here, added a lot of space out onto the gym floor. Cubbies moved over there and it's just, it's good. It makes the gym feel a lot better. <laughs> Just knocked out the first two sets of deadlifts. It is deadlift day on the 531. Look at the new platform, guys. I had some leftover stall mats. I took the wood off. This is so much better. You got grip. The wood isn't slippery. Is this a basketball court, dude? Woo! In all seriousness, I like deadlifting off the rubber. In this situation, I like the rubber. And we're going into set three right now. That rubber feels nice. So I will be the first to admit guys, my deadlift isn't what it used to be. And I have to keep telling myself like when I was pulling really heavy weights, I weighed like 226 pounds. And right now I'm like 214 maybe. So I'm a lot lighter. I'm not in the middle of a like four year bulk back when I was trying to lean bulk. So I, I just have to remind myself that, right? And I'm gonna get back up there. Uh, it's just a matter of time. And I haven't felt confident in my deadlift in I don't know how long, like a very, very long time. But today, like sometimes you do like one thing, one little thing, and then it all falls into place. You're just like, your body has a way of remembering things. And I think the, the whole time I've been deadlifting really on these strength training programs, I haven't been focusing on my breathing. And that's obviously a huge part of the deadlift, right? You have to be able to breathe, you have to be able to keep your core tight. Uh, and it's kind of like the bench press, you know, you, you breathe in and then you breathe out on the way up. I was basically just not, not taking in a full belly of air at the bottom. Uh, and just from that little, like, breathing in for maybe a second longer at the bottom, like a <sighs> holding all that air in my stomach makes a huge difference. Uh, so the moral of the story, guys, breathe while you deadlift. And then the rest of the workout, uh, I called for just some accessory stuff. I, if you've been watching the channel lately, I am a huge fan of some unilateral work just because when do you do a unilateral leg exercise, assuming you don't lunge all the time? Uh, so I love I love these single leg uh, leg presses. Great exercise. I do about 20 on each side, and then I moved on to did some hamstring curls for the hammies. Got to get those hammies in, and then I did some leg extensions, and that was the workout. I just got back from the dog park. Oh, Check huh? this out. Check this out. Oh! Damn. Damn. Look at that. Ultimate hopping skills. And then he just hopped off. Look at that. You guys know what's better than kiwis? Like delicious, succulent fruit? Molded kiwis. Shout out Walmart. Oh my god. Ugh. Oh, wow. Wow. No, Miho, don't eat that. Oh, my gosh. No, 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 no. You don't need to eat that. Is that nasty TV? Yeah, that went on the floor. <sighs> Milo, I know you want it. I know you want it, Milo. I know you want it. I know, but you can't have it. You can't have it. Nah. <sighs> <sighs> no, now Nanny's eating it. Yeah. Chanel. Bo, you want to go in there? Is that what you want to do? You want to go in here? Okay. So I'm currently outside at the dog park. It is the following day. I walked outside thinking like, eh, it's probably going to be about 100 degrees. Usually what I wear like during the mornings is like just kind of like a tank top and some shorts. It is 60 degrees and it is raining right now. And I'm cold. And I think today is officially the first day of jogger season. Woo! So I can wear joggers today and hide my massive calves from the public because they get scared when they see me walking. I have really big calves. It's just, a, it's hard to explain. Bo, up. There we go. It's a little wet out here, dude. There is a balance beam here. Ugh. Ooh. 
Are you a good boy? Yeah. Anyway, guys, I'm going to wrap this up. I'm going to go inside. My camera's getting really wet. Thank you for watching. Please give the video a like if you enjoyed. It's down there. It's a thumbs up button. I appreciate it a lot. And I will talk to you guys next video.